Okay, we have here spring. The spring is for return this uh, small cylinder that are is inside of valve. The thing to take it out, we need to unscrew this part first. Okay, this is a pilot valve and the coil, but we will look at it a little bit later. Here we have a body of the valve. Yeah, we also here see this cylinder, but I think this is how we can get it out. Whoop. And how can we see? Here is a dirt inside. We have here one, two, three, four, five, six o rings. Yeah, but I think problem was this side because we have uh, we have here like dry mud. Uh, it's not even that mud. It's something with metal. Oops, something with metal here in this part. Yeah, but the other side is pretty clean. So what literally happens when we have uh, electrical signals? This um, uh, cylinder, what is inside, just moves on one way. And from this part, we have spring. So this spring, when electricity is off, pull cylinder back, a change direction or airflow. It's uh, kind of simple as that. It just... Uh, Aluminum, metal block, nothing special, but actually, yeah, pretty interesting with this all grooms inside. Yeah, about about pilot valve. It's not so simple. A lot of people think that uh, valve is changing position only because of electricity, but it's not quite true. Because if we try to see here, it's kind of difficult, but I will put pictogram here bigger we have direction of the flow the reason is because almost all valves have small channel that uh, gives uh, pressurized air to this pill <coughs> oops to this pilot valve and uh, actually it's not one valve it's two valves like big one and the small one pilot valve let's unscrew this also 